What is up guys, quarterback Asian, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a Vaporjet 4.0 overview. Um, so I know what you guys are thinking, uh, you don't play, like why, why do you have gloves, you're a quarterback, you don't need gloves to be a quarterback, unless you want to be like Teddy Bridgewater or something, but I'm actually playing tight end now, they switched me to tight end, so I'll be playing tight end um, in the next couple games, so I'm really excited about it, I feel like I'm doing pretty well um, in it. So, um, yeah, let's just, just get on with the video. Um, switching positions, and now I'm a tight end. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to do an overview of the Vapor Jet Force. Hope you guys like uh, this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, let's get into it. So, um, I apologize in advance. My voice is kind of hoarse because um, I went to the Virginia Tech UNC game, and I'm a diehard Virginia Tech fan. So, um, that game was amazing. We won that game. And it was probably it was probably my favorite game I've been to for Virginia Tech. Um it was in the rain. Hurricane Matthew. It did not stop raining the whole entire game. It actually stopped raining right as the game ended. But um, yeah, we won 34-3. Um, it's pretty freaking awesome. I don't know what our ranking is so yet, but um, we were 25th. I think we're gonna be top top um 15 if I would guess. I probably think we go down to like 17, 16, or 15. But um, yeah. So without further ado, um, let's talk about this. So um the vapor jet fours um are really good. I like I like I've liked every single vapor jet. I love all vapor jet. It's my favorite line. I like the vapor jets and the super ads. I'm not a huge fan of the super ads this year. I tried them on and they're not really that comfortable. But um the vapor jets are they made a drastic change. They look a lot different. And they're a lot more light and um breathable and they're really, really sticky. So um Let's start off with like what's what what the materials are like. So um on the fingers it's a really good ventilated um uh, material. I think I I it's it's like the same material as a golf glove. So it's um very ventilated. Um, it's got this material right here is very stretchy, so it can uh, so like if you're this is a large by the way. Um, I don't large. So like if you don't fit into it into it, it can stretch a lot. So you can use them for multiple seasons. Um, the tack on this gloves are amazing. I really like these, even though I haven't played with them extensively. They are really good. But I am going to be getting some grip boost. So, um, I just got a grip boost towel, which I need to do a review on, by the way, guys. But I left it at school. And, um, so I'll, there'll be a grip boost, um, towel review. And I'm going to get some grip boost gel to, um, put on these gloves. But you don't really need them, but I just wanted to be, uh, sure. So the Velcro on this glove is really nice. Um, it's n it's not like that. Um, it doesn't hurt. It's not like one of that um, painful where if you like rub it on your skin, it hurts. This is like a very thin layer. It's not like it's um, it's not very um, like it doesn't like the the these things right here don't like stick up a lot. So it, it's it's very thin Velcro. This is a very nice Velcro material. Um, right here it says Nike. Um, of course. So yeah, it says ultra light fit, ultra or ultimate grip. So um, yeah, here it says. Um, just reading off the thing. I forgot to add this, but um, it um right here this um mesh area it's flexible for your knuckles. Um, so that's basically where you're supposed to where your knuckle is supposed to go. Um, and then it's got the um this is called the breathable knit construction. So it um. It keeps its form. It's not gonna tear on you, but it still is breathable because the the knit, the kind of knitting. It's a very it's a gel knitting, so it like keeps it together. Um, they call this the Magna Grip um, Palm. No, and it's and it's got skulls. That's the only thing I don't like about this gloves. I just think it's super cheesy. It skulls. Um, but um, besides that, this glove is amazing. I really love this. Um, see if I'm forgetting anything. Um. No, um, another thing that I really like is this, um, chrome accent right here, pretty sick, um, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put on these gloves, these gloves fit me perfectly, um, I'll be able to use them for the next couple of years, and, of course, this year, so, yeah, um, I do like the super bats, as I said in the beginning, but the, the, but the, bleh, this year aren't very good, um, I was gonna get, like, um, an older version of the super pads, but then I like um <clears throat> flexibility with my hands. The super pads kind of are a little stiff, so I just decided to get these. So um yeah um it's got the skull which I don't really like. I think it's kind of cheesy, but um it's got great grip. I'm very impressed with the grip. Um great fit. Um it's like there's no like sharp or uncomfortable edges. 
anything. And it's very, like, when I'm all like this, I can feel, like, the wind or the air going inside my hand, like, right here. And I'm gonna go get the ball, and I'm gonna show you guys how, um, like, uh, grippy they are. So, guys, the grip is really good. I'm very, um, pleased with the grip, even though I've had these for, like, two days. But, um, basically, it's a really good product. Um, very nice. Yeah, so these gloves are really nice. So, that you guys pick them up. So, yeah, that's basically all for this overview. I'm um, expecting a review coming soon. And um, also, the Grip Boost Towel review will be coming soon as well. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Courtney Backeshi, signing off. Peace!